serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy streets of Salem. Leaving no clues and no, lead. no link between his victims. The latest murder, a veteran SPD police detective. This crude drawing of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders. Leading police to refer to the murderer as the Bell Killer. Good evening, and bloody welcome to episode 7 of Summer Night Murder Mystery, Murdered Soul Suspect. Now, uh, in the previous episode, we um, went to the police station, and let's continue where we left off, uh, which is in this cell here. Uh, this is a ghost of a former prisoner, and... Apparently he hung himself, so let's see if we can find out uh, the reason why. Do what you gotta do. I'll be fine. Do what you gotta do. I'll be fine. And that was pretty anticlimactic, uh, cl climatic, uh, because um, uh, he don't want to speak about it. So let's leave him be, I guess. Um, I can't get past there. Maybe I can walk inside the wall here. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Oh, so this is me or uh, Ronan, if you will, um, in his uh, former life as a criminal before he. Uh, uh, became a good guy and uh, uh, worked as a police officer. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. My first crimes. I never forget the rush of taking down my first mark. He didn't see it coming. And I didn't see it coming when my dad held down my arm with a steely grin on his face and a tattoo gun on, in his hand, ready to give me a memento so the crime would be impossible to forget. So he had a pretty shitty dad, uh, I'm guessing. I've got to get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? Shut up. It's bad enough we're in jail without all your crazy talk. What? You too? There's another one. T -t 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 Tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. <laughs> Someone get this guy to the loo. Standing behind you, you mean? The ghost is right there. So he can sense me. Can, they really can he really see this? The ghost is right there. Oh! Oh no! He's uh, speaking about the um, the prisoner that hung himself. Oh, what's this? All finery and authority do not make purity. Um, where did that go? Uh, Rex frustration. Rex is frustrated by the lack of evidence or progress in my murder. Uh, yeah. Uh, count me in as one of those that is frustrated in the lack of evidence. Um, I don't know where that uh, went that I just picked up now, uh, that piece of information about the carvings here, but... I will leave it be for now. And don't do much in here, I guess, other than to possess this guy. Wrong cells. Fewer should have padded walls. Why do I get stuck with the crazy guy? We are all in deep shit now. <laughs> 
check those corners and markings on how many days he's been in here maybe I don't know killer he lives he is here time to burn Benny something Benny was here uh, it's probably carvings from um, from prisoners during the years or over the years Hmm, another rifle it seems and I need five more of those to um, uncover the story What good would it do to um, poltergeist here? The answer is nothing, I think. Oh, there's a plaque here. Forensic facility plaque. In grateful recognition of a generous an anonymous citizen of Salem who allowed uh, this forensic facility to be built and better serve the people of this city. Uh, to be honest, I don't find that uh, uh, that information particularly um, interesting. But oh, there's a ghost here. Uh, but um, it's a nice touch that oh, is that my so body there? Usually a symbol for time spent in prison. Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. This raven, it's the chains to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Yeah, so Ronan is heavily tattooed. <sighs> His entire arm looks like a confession of... of well... Confession of... Huh, a lot of stuff. We respect the deceased in here, so... Don't forget that. So that's the gunshot wounds on his chest there. Seeing my own corpse. Nothing can prepare you for that, for seeing your own corpse. It never felt so much like an empty shell until now. God, I look like a criminal. Uh, they haven't even shut his uh, his eyes closed. Why is the old guy so harsh? But tattoos might tell us something. Why is the old guy so harsh? Med school doesn't teach you everything. Little respect would be nice. Hmm, let's see this ghost here. Oh, that ghost belongs to the woman that is on the uh, slate there. Or on, on the slab, I think they are called. And uh, there's a body over here as well. Is she dead or is she alive? I can't tell. She's probably dead. Yeah, she she probably is a victim to the bell killer. Let's uh, speak to the ghost here. What happened? 
What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. Hmm. Yeah, if... if the afterlife is like this... Um, then, well, I guess technically this isn't really afterlife. This is like a level between life and death when when they become ghosts. So, yeah, it, it don't seem very peaceful to um, to be um, uh, in, in the um, uh, in the level between life and death. Um, so yes, some people believe in life after death, some people believe in ghosts, in spirits, uh, some uh, people believe that you will go to heaven. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't think that I believe anything of those because uh, if, if uh, we people have a soul that will uh, pass on to uh, another dimension or or another place uh, after uh, uh, a death occurs then uh, well let's say there is a heaven then that heaven must be filled with uh, spirits because uh, if you think about it uh, we people have been alive for millions of years, is it? Um, so, yeah, and uh, not only us uh, humans. Think about all the animals that have lived uh, on this earth. If uh, all spirits go to heaven, then the heaven must be crammed full uh, by now, because... Uh, uh, there has been uh, life on planet Earth for quite a long time now, so uh, I I think well I, I don't think that there is anything else um, uh, after the death. I think uh, the life that we live now is the only one that we got, um, but of course. I can't be sure about that, but that's what I believe. Uh, what do you believe? Do you believe that there is a life after death? And if so, how do you imagine that uh, it uh, it is um, to to be? A, do Do you think that you will have a conscious consciousness? Uh, in uh, in the afterlife that you will remember everything that happened uh, when you were alive uh, I, I think it's a really interesting question to uh, to think about and there there aren't any answers uh, it's impossible to know until you get there yourself uh, but I, I'm not keen to find out I must add um, I enjoy being alive uh, with that being said uh, that was a bit of a thought process that uh, went out on its way there so let's get back into the game here and talk to this ghost again Yeah, so by what she told me, it seems that she killed herself. Uh, I am wondering about this girl here though. 
it's nothing that I can do with that so I guess that is a dead body um, I don't think that I can look at myself no I can't uh, activate anything there so oh what happens if I activate the fan here autopsy tools um yeah oh here's another fan ah uh, they don't care about that okay so let's head out of here I guess yeah no reaction at all What you gotta do. I'll be fine. Oh, yeah, so I can't do anything to help those ghosts. So they will just have to stay where they are, I guess. Hmm. Now, what am I supposed to do? I am a bit uncertain about that. Oh, I can't go through the uh, wall there. Oh, that's right. I might have to get upstairs somehow, but I don't know how. Oh, I haven't tried the uh, stairs here. Well, let's return to the investigation room here. Should see if there are any new leads in my murder case. Uh, I only got 5 of 11 clues. So I am lacking a lot of clues. Maybe I can find something up here. Review my life. What an ass. He was wrong even when he was right. When Baxter tried to threaten me. Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past. As if my past hasn't already done all the damage it could do. So Baxter seems to be quite a bastard. Oh, what's this? Oh, another rifle. A. Grace, personal info. Anne Grace, no legal middle name. Female, 22 years old. No immediate family. Publicly went by the name of Madam Agatha. Novelty fortune teller. Hmm, I I am wondering if a um, fortune teller, no, um, 
the uh, eyewitness's mom uh, is a medium, so I was beginning to think that maybe it was her mom or no, uh, age 22. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's sad that her name was 22. So she can't have been the mother to the eyewitness. Don't want to get involved in this homicide stuff. Thought Salem PD would be a safe job. It's always the quiet ones that turn out to be killers. <laughs> Why doesn't he ever talk? No. <laughs> okay. So you see. Is he suspecting his colleague to uh, to be the bell killer? Visit to the station. I used to go visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years. So when I went with Ronan today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by the room they got dedicated to the bell killer case. Everything they know or even guess might be related is in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room, you'd think there was some religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, <laughs> they're supposed to for just cause 2 here. And Deuce X on the computer. Or Deus X, however it's pronounced. Um, collect. You healed her, buddy. That sickness she carried in her brain. You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Rex's gratitude. Rex is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. Oh, okay. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play except bell symbol. No prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. K. Douglas personal info. Karen Mary Douglas, female, 37 years of age, uh, accountant, unmarried. No criminal uh, record, no violent relationships. Socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. Um, okay. So this is, yeah, this is Rex's uh, office here. <laughs> Donuts. They don't look that bad, actually. Mm. I'm a bit uncertain as to where I should be going. These ghosts right here looks really old. There's something on the ground here. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Oh, so is that the book? Insights on the killer's motives. A pattern of behavior in the killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother, but she's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. So, I don't know if that was the book that she was going to collect at the police station. Probably not. What is that? 
so that uh, a bag of candy on the sofa there can I look outside the window no I can't well I kind of can but still but not really oh there's a lighthouse there that's pretty cool um, there's a lot of stuff that I can poltergeist but I don't know what good it would do maybe uh, there will be a lot of demons in here in a while oh here's a map map of killings we are exploring the possibility of a connection between the deaths listed on the map do not make public comment on the connection until officially authorized I wonder if I have enough clues now to... Oh, what's this? Oh, another rifle. Um, oh, there are a lot of stuff in here. Ronan gets his badge. Big day. I never thought this would happen. <coughs> <coughs> I beg your pardon I, I got something in my throat there I I think I got a cold coming on so uh, uh, yeah anyway big day <laughs> I never thought this would happen between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past so much could go wrong but it happened and my man has a badge, badge now. Looks good on him and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. God, I love a guy in the uniform. Uh, there's another note here. Ronan's trouble with the law. I always knew there had been trouble but I didn't know his official arrest record that was uh, was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony. Going back to childhood. It's like his life is already ruined. How can I jo join my life with his? Um, is this Ronan's office? Yeah. It is. Another note here. Plain clothes cop. It was quite the trick Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan street smarts uh, would make him most effective as a plain clothes co cop. Ronan was very relieved. So Ronan uh, doesn't like uh, to wear a uniform then, I take it. Another rifle. I need one more to uncover the story. Um, I don't think that there is anything more in his office there. Nothing in here. I have already been in here. I don't think that 
I have missed something now, so I guess that I should get back downstairs. Oh, I can't get down that way. So I have to go this way. Hmm. Oh, there are a lot of ghosts here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's head down here and go back to the investigation room. Should see if there are any new leads in my murder case. I only got 5 of 11 clues still. What am I missing? This is getting a bit frustrating because I believe that I have looked on everything. I don't want to exit. I've already possessed them, I think. So what else is it that I can do that I haven't done yet? <laughs> Free sodas. Have I been down here? Probably. Yeah. Gotta have faith in the department. I don't know what I am missing. Oh! Suspect lineup. Um, identifying marks, attire, always seen in mask hood. It doesn't say what's, what, what's his name is though. Um, was it, was it that guy that entered? No, it was that guy, wasn't it? Uh, what would make him remember what he should be doing? Pattern of victim deaths, crime scene signature, Rex's frustration, symbol similarity, missing persons flyer, or bell killer suspects. I don't know. Let's go with this one. No, that was wrong. Uh, is there anything that I've been missing here? Yeah, it is. Victims. Links between murders. The victims on the board were young women with no sign of sexual assault. Bell killer suspects. The police think the bell killer has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. Uh, so now I got 7 of 11 clues. But I must be missing something. 
Murder locations. Map of the Balkele murders. The Balkele murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There doesn't appear to be a common link to where they happen. So there is very little that link uh, the uh, murderers uh, together. Um, I guess that I can possess him now and try to influence him. Map. Let's go with Rex Frustration then. That was wrong. Um, let's go with Missing Persons Flyer. We gotta find that info about the missing tenant. Cassandra Foster, 42, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profile, profiler, occasional consultant for a Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster, is she only 15? Her legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster, whereabouts of her father are unknown. Dropped out of Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home, has a number of misdemeanor convictions, juvenile, trespassing, burglary and uh, breaking and entering. Amber alert for Joy Foster cancelled, in custody. Um, that didn't help me much. Oh, so I can view different no not different things it's only that uh, line of text there Cassandra Foster professional psychic community with that uh, with that dead relatives for clients last seen by neighbors two weeks ago Salem PD is currently seeking her as a possible witness What's the most relevant information? Joy Foster, I think is the most relevant information, isn't it? Maybe not. I'm gonna go with Cassandra Foster. Uh, okay, so let's go with this then. Uh, so... Oh! There, uh, I missed that. The witness is in custody. The Amber Alert was cancelled because the witness is in custody. Here at the station. She would probably still be in the holding cells. But I have been in there. And I didn't see her. Missing persons file update. He just updated the file on those missing tenants. It might have information that's useful. Okay then. So I'm guessing that I should go back to the holding cells then. Now where are they? Here's a bathroom. I haven't been in here before. I don't think that there is anything there. It's the last gun or rifle. Uh, collected a series of mysterious vestige artifacts. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. When we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and 
Now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. And one officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late-night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, it was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. He was staring right at me. He lifted an old ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. And docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Wow, that was quite a ghost story. Uh, happening on this very police station. So... Um, I don't think there is anything else to do here. I don't have a reflection, but on the other hand, nor does the room itself. Uh, I don't see the bathroom stalls in the reflection in the mirror there. So, let's go to the holding cells. If only I could can remember where they are hmm, they aren't in here maybe they are here yeah here's the holding area so she should be here somewhere. I think that I have already been in here. But I didn't see her and I still don't. So what's up with that? Because she's supposed to be here I think. But I don't see her. So where is she?
Oh, here's the morgue again. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? Yeah, we have already we heard about wrong. that. Um. So. I guess I should head back out because I don't see her in the holding cells here. Uh, maybe I should return to the investigation area which is over here somewhere. Oh no, I can't go up those stairs. This is the way where I need to go. Conclude the investigation. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Uh, okay, so... Find the witness in the holding cell. Oh, so I probably needed to activate that before I could... Um, uh, get to see her in the holding cell. Now... Where, where is the holding cells again? I got a short term memory. It's it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there she is. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? Alright, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! Alright, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. <laughs> Alright. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Hmm. Not for long. So, what do I need to do now? I need to get her out of here. Uh... And I need to fiddle with the camera, I guess, to, uh, uh, yeah, not make them notice that she is uh, getting out from the holding cell here. Uh, but I actually think that we'll have to wait until next episode because I am a bit uncertain on how long I have been playing. But I think that it is actually about time to end this episode here. So, yeah, we're gonna uh, help her escape in the next episode. So, until then, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good night.